Hello Libra, welcome to our weekly tarot reading. Now this is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, that is the right time for you. Now we will start by looking at the main energy for this week. For our main energy we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, you are closely analyzing something right now in your life. I don't know if it is a relationship. It can be a relationship because you're looking at the cup. It can be also a situation. It can be something that, uh, it can be an inspiration that is burning in your heart right now. So whatever it is, you try to see how it resonates with you. But you are studying closely something and uh, as you try to study it you are right now also using your intuition i feel that somehow being close to, na to nature will help you find more insights and answers regarding what you are considering at this present moment and uh, the phrase that comes to me listen to your angels okay take it how it Take it as it resonates with you. Now, let's see. How will this week unfold for you? Well, there are two possibilities with the Two of Cups. It can be a new relationship coming your way. Or in an old relationship that is deepening right now. So it can be somebody is coming your way right now. Somebody who is mature, capable of giving unconditional love. It can be a person from your past who has matured now and so they are capable of giving a better loving relationship to you and they could even lead to healing because we have here the sign of Caduceus and also the angels. So it can be a, a healing process for you also. Or it can be somebody new who will also bring healing for you. Somebody who will give you unconditional love and somebody that you will be inclined to give unconditional love in return. This is a person that you resonate a lot with. You seem to be in touch with each other at a deeper level, not just the physical one. Now it can be also the second possibility is that you will attain a certain balance between your masculine and your feminine side. So your creative part, your receptive part and your uh, your that part of you that get things done okay that assertive part of you also that masculine part so uh, you are attaining a certain maturity and also undergoing healing at this time that allows you to have a certain balance in your personality when things are in balance things are less stressful so it's a positive thing also this week you seem to be in a contemplative mode you have the spirit of the hermit Again, you see the hermit looking at the lamp. So it seems that the universe is giving you a certain message right now and you are, and the universe is getting your attention. And you are curious what the universe is wanting to teach you or wanting to tell you. So yes, you prefer to be alone. You like to be alone. You want to spend time alone. Well, it's a good stage and I, I think it's important right now because it seems the universe has a lesson to give you at this time. Now, there are two possibilities with this Five of Swords. One is that this week you're going to be a winner. And no matter how other people will try to uh, find their way to win over you, you will still succeed. So I feel you are in a winning streak right now. That's one possibility. Another possibility is you will be hand, you will be able to handle uh, certain situations where if somebody tries to take advantage of you, you will not be too affected from it. You will just walk away from it. So in a certain sense, it's like uh, you see here the swords that are on the ground. It's like a person trying to pick a fight, <clears throat> but then you, the two of you, there, do you see these two energies? One is in despair, but I think your energy is more of this one, or this is what is you are inviting, being invited to. If somebody tries to uh, create a certain conflict, it's as if the card is saying, it's not worth it. 
lay down your sword and just walk away. Let them have their victory if that is what they think. Let them have it. It's not important to you at this time. What is important to you is what is burning in your heart right now. This thing that is trying to get your attention at this time. So if somebody tries to pick a conflict between you and them, it's as if the card is saying, it's not worth it, walk away. And I think walking away will make you a winner. It's a waste of your energy. You can concentrate your energy on this important thing that the universe is trying to tell you at this time. So that are the two, that those are the two possibilities that I am feeling right now. Either you're going to win for this week or if some people will try to create conflict between the two of you, just the universe seems to say it's not worth the effort. Just walk away and concentrate on this new inspiration the universe is giving you. And when you do that, it will set you free. So I feel here is like uh, the universe telling you, choose your battles. Don't fight all the wars. Choose the battle that you think is important and just concentrate on that. And if you do that, it will set you free. Yes, because your attention will be just concentrated on what is truly essential in your present journey. And because of that, other things that could cause burden or anxiety to you, you will set it free. And you will be happier and freer. And you will be able to enjoy more the blessings of the Divine in your life. Now, we have here the King of Wands. So be on fire. Use your intuition also. Be intuitive and make it through the challenges just like the salamander. So there will be challenges and there will be people who might challenge you. Well, choose your battles. You don't have to fight all of them. Be on fire. Reach out for that inspiration that the universe is giving you right now. I think this is more impo important to you at the present moment. Finally, we have here the emperor. So have good boundaries. Choose your battles. Have good boundaries. And... Uh, I think at this time, just be simple. <laughs> you see the king, uh, the emperor here doesn't have a lot of uh, superfluous things around his throne. He's just simple. So it's like um, declutter your mind, declutter your heart, declutter your life. Choose your battles. And uh, be a little bit of a minimalist so that there won't be too, and there won't be unnecessary anxieties in your life at this time. Just concentrate on what is essential so this is what i can see for you right now libra we'll try to end with two oracle cards we're going to take it from the cosmic reading cards by uh, nari anastasia by the way the tarot card is the tarot of ae weight by agm urania now what is the oracle message for you Communication. Okay. I think it's, you see here the wolf talking to the moon. Well, communication. There are a lot of communications coming from the universe. So, listen. The hermit here. Listen. Because it is important right now. It will uh, allow you to gain more maturity and healing. And at the same time, it will set you free. And it will make you like the king of wands who is strong and able to survive whatever challenges he encounters. And uh, so give, have strong boundaries so that you'll be able to listen to the communications of the universe at this present time. Now, what else do we have? Unconditional love. Okay, give unconditional love. I feel this is related to this one. For those of you who are happy, happily single, give yourself unconditional love. Don't let yourself carry unnecessary burdens. Again, the phrase, choose your battle. Okay, so if you are happily single, 
give yourself unconditional love and don't let don't settle for anything less than unconditional love okay you give unconditional love also to others but you expect others to give unconditional love to you at the same time give yourself unconditional love now an unconditional love also might come your way so be open also don't be too it's good to have good boundaries okay <laughs> it's it was upside down <laughs> uh, it's good to have good boundaries but at the same time not too much of a boundary that you will not let other people to come in your life especially those who are capable of giving you unconditional love those who are capable of helping you in your present life's journey so be open also to unconditional love so this is what we have for you for today libra i hope that it resonates with you and has inspired you to face your present life's challenges thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing it helps the channel to grow and allows us to reach more people it makes our soul family grow I hope to see you again next time. Until that moment, may God continue to bless your ways.